What's up, beautiful people? Um, this is Cam. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back um, making some videos and sh showing you guys just everything that I learned um, about stock options and, and trading stock options in the market. And so one of the things that I want to talk or one of the topics that I want to touch on today is the topic of support and resistance it's very 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 key if you want to learn how to trade stocks is to understand what support and resistance is right when we're looking at a chart so support is basically um a price level that uh, basically the buyers you know it, it goes down the stock price goes down to a certain level and then you can see a trend that at that level the buyers jump in to buy it back up right so that's what support is basically it has support of the buyers and then on the other hand we have resistance so what is resistance resistance is every time the trend of or the price point as a stock is going up at what point are sellers more liable to sell it, right? So you'll see these particular trends as you learn stocks um, and, and trading particular companies. One thing that I recommend is you to learn the stocks that you're trading. So if you're day trading, you know, and, and you have a particular methodology or you know a scanner that you use to day trade cool to gate it's cool to day trade i guess different different uh, companies so you can guess the wave however what i feel like makes me more successful and this is just myself is um basically to only have like no more than 15 20 stocks that i trade on a regular basis why because i want to learn those stocks i want to know how they move i want to know you know um basically their trends and, and their patterns over time and you'll see this in in companies as you get into the market or you are in the market you'll see you know apple has been at like 146 145 that particular range it really doesn't go down past 130 at this point um and you know it's predicted to continue to go up because why it's apple and um you know it's a it's a decent company and i rarely know a lot of people that don't have apple products so as i was saying we have support and resistance and so just real quick i just want to show you how to plot it on a chart so we have nike here and for this demonstration, I am using a one day, one year, one day chart, right? So what are we seeing? All the price movements each, every single day for a whole year for Nike, right? So that's what we're looking at. And we want to look at, okay, when I come to this chart, I want to say, or if I plan on trading Nike in the market, what I'm going to do, depending on what type of option I want to trade, whether it's going to be a day trade or a swing trade or a leap, um, that will determine like how I want to basically plot my support and resistance line. And this is something that everybody should be doing if they're in the market is, you know, this is just a part of your technical analysis, understanding your support and resistance. So here we have Nike. And say I want to get, um, you know, just a month. I, I, I want to swing Nike, right? So first of all, let's plot our support. So as you can see, the most common areas that Nike goes below or, or stops from, you know, drifting, it is on a continuous upward motion-ish or you know it's pretty consolidated on this particular um this particular chart but if i was just to look at this from a year out i would say um possibly my support the price point that the lowest that nike has dropped for real for real over the span of a year 
is like this 124, 125 line. And so what I'm doing, I'm just looking at this particular candlestick, these candlesticks and what the body and the wick is telling me. And I want to plot it at the wick. And so that's the most, you know, I see several different candlesticks at that price point. So let's just call that one level of support. And you'll see this as you, you're, you're trading, depending on, like I said, your contract that, that you want to have. So if I want it, you know, depending on when I wanted to buy the contract, um, your support lines will always be at will always continue to go up, especially with a company that is um, in a uptrend um, during the time period. So that's basically what support is. is over the span of a year, none of these candlesticks have dropped past 124, 125, that price point, right? So say, you know, anytime, for instance, if the market makes a correction or whatever, some drastic news happens, it would be most likely, like if Nike is at 173 right now, some drastic news happens, it'll be most likely that Nike will only drop to 125 at the most drastic, um, you know, phase over the year, right? And so that's what our support is telling us like where is this company at what price point is it supported at where do buyers believe where do people how much do people truly think this the, the stock of the price is worth and you know over the span of the past year is at this 125 right so on the contrary we have resistance so what is resistance resistance is you know, people that are selling the stock and or basically saying the stock is not worth, you know, over a certain price point at that at that period of time. So as you can see right here, we're just going to start. We're going to use this line as resistance because over the past year ish, with the exclusion of um, over the last two months, but for, you know, these 10 months, Nike hasn't gone past 147-ish, 147, 148-148. So that is our line of resistance. So basically, as buyers trying to buy it up, up sellers come in and say, you know what, it's not worth that much. The stock price is is overvalued, so we're gonna sell this off. Or depending on you know whatever goes on in the market at the time, whether it's you know catalyst play, is it earnings? If it's news, whatever um, can can impact the pricing or you know basically the trend of, of the stock price, but basically the resistance is kind of like the glass ceiling for that time frame. And then, as you can see over the last two months, um, Nike has had like a little pop. So then you will support you will plot more support and resistance lines based upon this pop because what we call this is it gapped up. Um, and so basically, as everything is going from the day to day, it has a, whatever type of trend, a close trend, and then bam, for whatever reason, you know, it gaps up from 133 all the way to like 152, 154-ish. So we call that a gap up. So, you know, in those instances when it gaps up, sometimes we wait for the stock to to drop back down to aka fill the gap or we'll just start to plot more support and resistance lines and so as you can see over the span of the two months nike has not dropped down past 156 on the most common days and then it hasn't gone above you will just use the high because it just is it's the high so that's the resistance, right? It's support is the low um, of a particular stock over a certain period of time. And resistance is basically the high um, over a certain period of time. And so, you know, whether you're day trading or, or swing trading or whatever, this is just a great tool to 
analyze your entry points, whether if you're buying a stock for the long term or if you're going to trade it. So again, that's what support and resistance is. Um, comment down low, let me know if it makes sense. Um, or, you know, basically if you have any other questions that you have been lingering or you're just trying to understand, put them in the comments. I'll, you know, come back with, it, with another video hoping to address whatever question that you have. But again, support and resistance. Really key technical analysis um, component to understanding entry points and exit points. Um, like I said, whether you're buying a stock or, or just trading it. So that's it. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, but until next time, I'll see you later and take care.